Okay, so here's one of these problems that shows up on the SAT. But more importantly, I think it's going to show up on this AccuPlacer test. So I just want to make sure that we're able to do this. It said Tara made 3M over P dollars working at McDonald's. And Joe made 6M minus 4 over P dollars. Lynn made 1 and 1 third times as much as Tara. If they pool all their money, how much money will they have? Well, they'll have all of Tara's money, won't they? They'll have all of Joe's money. And they'll have all of Lynn's money. <clears throat> and that will be all the money. So it starts out pretty easy, I think. We have 3M over P, don't we? And then we're going to add Joe's money. And Joe's money is 6M minus 4 over P. Plus, but how much money does Lynn make? So we have to do some math over here on the side, don't we? She makes 1 and 1 third times as much as Tara. And Tara makes... 3M over P, right? So far, so good. What I'm going to do here? Yeah, convert it to an improper fraction. So something we haven't done in a long time. You're sitting in the middle of a class that doesn't do this kind of math, right? We do something different. So I'm going to cross cancel here and here. And we find out that Lynn actually makes 4M over P dollars, doesn't she? All right, so if we added all these pieces together, we'd have three M's here, four M's there, which is seven M's plus two. Oh, hold on a second. I got that wrong. Six plus four is 10. 13 M would be 13 M minus four dollars. So that's our answer. That's how much they would make cumulatively. All right, you guys, good work.